Are older programmers better than the younger programmers? Well, of course, I'd say yes, because I am an older programmer. It's not really true. There are some pretty hopeless old programmers and some extremely clever younger ones. But there are some big differences between the way, in general, that people who learnt to program some decades ago go about their programming from the people who have learnt more recently. And that's really what I, I want to talk about here. It, it was suggested to me by comments from uh, under two videos that I did recently. And I noticed there was quite a difference of opinion. And it seems to me a sort of a generational gap. So I, I read quite a lot of those comments and tried to figure out why there was such a big difference. The two videos were about two languages, Pascal, still in use through Free Pascal and Delphi, and um, GW Basic, an old version of Basic, which very few people indeed would use now. But the one that really I want to concentrate on is on Pascal. Some people were saying, Pascal, hopeless language, nobody would want to use Pascal. It's put so many barriers in your way, it stops you doing things that you need to do. It's a bossy language. And other people were saying, I am so glad that I learned to program using Pascal. It has completely given me a model for all the programming I've done since, whether it be in C or C++ or Java or whatever other language I am now using. So if you like an older generation of programmers, many learnt using Pascal and really value the, the rigour that they had to learn when programming with Pascal. Younger programmers often feel that Pascal is over-restrictive. It stops them doing what they want to do in a way that if they were using Python or Ruby, for example, they would not be uh, prevented in, in doing those things. Pascal is quite bossy. It goes out of its way to be bossy. Uh, it makes you declare your variables. And it not only makes you declare your variables, they have to be in a particular block. You can't just suddenly declare them before you need them, as you do in many other languages. Uh, they have to be in a variable declaration block. They ha have to have their own formal, strict data types. And unlike, for example, uh, Python or, or, or Ruby, those data types are absolutely fixed. They can't be changed. They're not dynamic data types. The types can't be inferred. Now, there are one or two changes in the recent edition of Delphi, which is the object Pascal language, which I'm going to ignore for the purposes of this discussion. I'm assuming that we're talking about traditional Pascal. And so it is very, very bossy. Is that a good thing or is it a bad thing? I personally am, along with many other people who commented in uh, those threads about basic and Pascal, if you haven't watched those videos, by the way, the links are down below. I really, really appreciate the fact that I learnt with Pascal. Since then, I've programmed in languages that are much less restrictive, much uh, less bossy, um, everything from C to Ruby. I, I mean, I've done a lot of programming in Ruby, written books on Ruby, developed software for Ruby. Ruby is a very, very free and easy, very permissive language. It lets me do all sorts of things that I could never get away with in Pascal. But I bring to Ruby a lot of the experience that I gained while writing Pascal. Pascal taught me a way of structuring code in a neat, uh, concise, elegant, readable, and above all, maintainable way. Over the years, there's been a general move to move away from the very strict languages like Pascal, Modular, and Oberon, and Ada, to more permissive languages. First of all, there was Java and C Sharp, which have some of the rigor of a language like Pascal, but also let you give you much more freedom in something like Modular 2, which was the successor to Pascal, or in an object-oriented language like Smalltalk, they both approach the problem of modularity in slightly different ways, but you have to declare very well-defined interfaces or methods in an object-oriented term in order to get at private data, data fields, which would otherwise be inaccessible. Now, in other languages like Java, C Sharp, and uh, certainly Ruby and Python, that modularity is a bit more free and easy. It's uh, something that you can or you can not do as you wish. 
Those of us who've grown up through languages that absolutely enforce modularity would be horrified to find people poking in and out of modules or units or objects without going through the well-defined interfaces, the well-defined routes that the programmer intended you to go by. The advantage of this is that you ha end up with a very tightly structured program which is more predictable, more reliable, is less likely to be accidentally damaged by some other programmer poking away into your module in places where you didn't intend them to do. So, in short, Python, Ruby, and to some extent C Sharp and Java, quite permissive languages, give you a lot of freedom to program exactly how you want, and that's great. In some circumstances, writing in Ruby or Python is, is wonderful. But for those of us who've already got a lot of experience with more strict languages, more strictly defined, more rigorous languages in the Pascal family or, or modular orator, we would tend to try to observe a consistency and a modularity even in those languages which don't enforce it. I think that's a good idea. Some I know some younger programmers think it's a horrible idea and they like to have the freedom from the very early stages of their programming learning. I think that's a generational difference. It has some pros and cons, but I really think that it's to every programmer's advantage to have learnt to program a very strict and a very modular language, even if later on you go on to write in a very permissive, very free and easy language like Ruby or Python. If you've got any views on the matter, as always, leave them down below, and I'll be back with something else soon.